this is a 3D printed mini crossbow that shoots 3D printed bolts using 3D printed limbs at speeds of over 150 feet per second. Holy shit. No. Jesus. No fucking way. The limbs are made by bonding two separate pieces of material together using JB Super Weld to form a composite structure. And what that does is it optimizes them for strength and performance. It also has a very modular design. It makes prototyping a lot easier. It makes it so that the design can be continually improved. It allows you to replace or update or upgrade. Uh, certain components very easily. We also have Picatinny rail on the top and the bottom. It can shoot different types of bolts. You have this one, which is very easy to make. Very destructive at close range. It's great for doing stuff like this. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. That was cool. This is my personal favorite. It's a very stable flyer. It flies in a very straight line and it's very fast. So fast! And from these three metal fasteners here, this is all joint assembly. This uses just like classic woodworking joints. You see there's a dovetail there. There's a dovetail here, a dovetail there. This whole module is a dovetail. And then this Picatinny rail just dovetails on this way. So without using a single fastener, I just dovetailed the shit out of this whole thing. It's got a loop-free port connect system. So all you need to do is singe the end of a piece of tactical cord or bowstring. So as the drawstring inevitably stretches out, you can just easily readjust them. Being loop-free is great because it's easier to do and... It helps us keep everything flat and lightweight. So this has an integrated tuning system that works very similar to the head of a guitar, only instead of having exposed knobs, it's got this tamper-free port um, down here. And to access that, you just open this compartment down here, and then you get your stubby tool, and then that fits that. And then you can just fine tune the, the cam system. It has this little spring on the bottom so that it doesn't rattle around inside the compartment. So this is basically a string instrument just like uh, a musical string instrument only instead of making music it's better for having a vendetta against tin cans. <laughs> The way you tune it is you just, you pull it so that the, the, top, the sharp part of the cam is touching the rope like that on both sides, like at the same time, and you just keep making adjustments to both sides. And then it has this rope stop feature at the front of the crossbow with these helical shock springs, and they actually absorb a lot of the energy. You can't really see it unless you watch it on slow motion. So to operate this thing, you first you cock the shot, you just pull this until it clicks, and then you put it back, and then you drop the bolt in, and then there's a spring inside that catches the bolt, and then if you need to cancel the shot, you can pull the T-grip back, pull the trigger, and then just easily let it go. So never look down the barrel of the gun. It's super frowned upon. Like, don't look down the barrel to check to see if you loaded the shot or not. 
You can you can see in through the side. If you were to accidentally fire it point blank, uh, like into your eye or something, worst case scenario, this nail with wings attached to the nail is gonna come flying out of the barrel at 150 feet per second into your eyeball, permanently deactivating your vision and possibly going into your brain. Best case scenario, a nail with wings attached to the nail comes flying out of the barrel at 150 feet per second into your eye, deactivating your vision permanently and possibly going into your brain. Either way, it's not good. This toy is for children aged 30 and up only. Don't don't let ch small children play with this. Like let's say you have like how many kids you have? Like two kids? Okay, let's say you have two kids. As soon as you turn around, one of them is just gonna shoot the other one in the eye. And best case scenario, a nail with wings attached. Like, you can find it and go through it, and activate and possibly go into the ring. And so definitely keep this thing locked up. Don't let drunk people play with it either. They don't know what it's capable of. As soon as you turn around, one of them's gonna shoot the other one in the eye. And well, you already know how that story goes. So yeah, always have a plan of where you're gonna shoot before you load the crossbow. Check your country, state, or provincial laws on crossbow regulations and see if you're um, legally allowed to print one of these. Also, before you download these files, consider the difficulty level of this print. Consider checking out the assembly video first. Also consider the safety risk to your hands mostly, since you have to use an X-Acto knife and since a lot of the sliding joints have sharp edges and it's easy to slip and you know catch one of those edges and screw up your hands. Cut.